Yeah, man, it's your boy, Mr. Fab, man. The yellow bus rider, man. Sean T, the real king of slaps, man. Y'all better act like y'all know who he is, man. Yeah. Me give y'all one on one on how to ghost ride. Look, the streets know just what this is. Ghost ride whip up and down the street. The ghost bus. Hi, I'm Samantha Cox Para for Cal TV Entertainment. Here with Bay Area rapper Mr. Fab at the Dope Era clothing store. Yep. Um, and we're going to teach you a little hyphy 101. <laughs> <laughs> so, to start, what does the word hyphy mean? Um, extra hyper, hyperactivity, mm -hmm. super energy, exuberant, just anything that explains uh, extra energy. Uh. Not only was hyphy a Bay Area lifestyle, it was also a movement. So, can you talk a little bit about that? Um, demographically and regionally, it was a sound that began to uh, galvanize everyone together and they finally had something that they could relate to. How did you personally become involved with the hyphy movement? So we were the voice of what was actually going on out here in the streets and it became popularized by you know the legends like E-40 and Too Short and um, Keek the Sneak which mm -hmm. is like the inventor of it, the king of that and you know of course Mac Dre, yeah. rest in peace to the big homie and um, they, they kind of like laid the blueprint and the guidelines to this is what it is mm -hmm. to be hyphy. And then what I did was I was some of the younger fresh air, some of the, the new voice that the younger guys could relate to. And when they seen themselves, mm -hmm. they saw it in me. So it was like, you know, it kind of kind of gave it hand to hand. And so uh, I played a, played a small contribution to it. <laughs> Just a small one. <laughs> Speaking of all these these artists, what do you think are some of the most iconic hyphy songs? I think if I had to do like a top five list, mm -hmm. hyphy uh, definitely do "Tell Me When to Go." Yeah. Definitely do uh, "Thistle Dance" and mm -hmm. "Feeling Myself" by Mac Dre. Mm -hmm. um, "Blow the Whistle." Yeah. And uh, that's my word. Mm, my, yes. uh, so those are like two, two big big records, the records that kind of like the epitome of what the hyphy movement was all about and those records. Definitely. Like it's like if you're from the Bay Area you know those songs. Oh, yeah, like most they definitely. come up in like in the club or at a party and like you know someone's from the Bay Area if you see them like singing yeah, everywhere. If they know if they know that <laughs> if they know those songs they definitely they definitely got some Bay class and <laughs> Bay Destrian somewhere. So the hyphy movement has also produced a lot of slang. Um, what are what are some of the words that come to mind that you feel like like hella is a Bay Area term that people throw around like yada da mean? What are other other slang terms that have been popularized through the hyphy movement? Well, just like like you say, you know yada da mean, um, hella. I mean, well, people have been saying hella before the hyphy <laughs> movement. You know, that's like just a Northern California word, hella. Um, like mamas. Mm -hmm. I mean, like tell the truth. If somebody be like. You're saying something, and they be like, mamas. Like, All right, mamas. <laughs> put that on mamas. So let me, you know, that's uh, that's some base stuff. Um, popping the collar. It's so much. It's, stunner it's, shades. Yeah, your stunner shades on. The scrapers. Thizzles. Ghost riding the whip. <laughs> you know, so it's they terminology, man. We got to we gotta take a minute to just think of it, because it's a part of it's It's already embedded in your vocabulary when you're from here, so you mm -hmm. really don't take time to say, oh yeah, they don't say that anywhere else. Like I remember yeah, when exactly. I first down went to LA and I was saying hella, they was like, what? <laughs> I was like, y'all don't say hella? <laughs> uh, it's crazy, like, yeah, okay, all right. So do you think the hyphy movement has ended or do you think there's a sort of resurgence with younger rappers who grew up listening to your music? Like, or is it something new completely considering that G-Eazy -E and Marty Grimes and other artists have worked with all of you artists as well? and are also popular now. I just think it's the energy, you know, mm -hmm. the, the hypey, whatever genre it will be called or whatever the title you want to hide mm -hmm. behind the music, it's just the energy yeah. of what explains the energy. You know, G, G is doing a great job of taking it worldwide. Yeah. Um, Ezel, I Am Sue, mm -hmm. um, Cool John, the HBK, d -Lo. a lot of these guys that are taking some of the same energy, the same um, the science and formula and just applying it now so it's pretty much the same it's just you know the names will be different like our generation may call something totally different than what our parents called it mm -hmm. or what our aunties and uncles called it but in actuality it's still the same thing like oh boy that ain't nothing but the funky chicken boy 
<laughs> you think he was getting hypey by his funky chicken butt? You know, that's the Humpty Dance. So, you know, like we took the Humpty Dance mm -hmm. and everything, you know, MC Hammer was hypey. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was hypey, exactly. man. So he just took it to another level and was mm -hmm. like, okay, this is what it is. So regardless of whatever they call it, it's about just capturing that energy and going out and being proud of where you're from and representing. Definitely. Back in 2014, uh, the mayor of Oakland honored you for giving back to the community. Are there any projects you're currently working on? I'm always working on some projects. Um, this coming up weekend, we have uh, the 12th annual backpack giveaway. Okay. Um, we're doing a fishing trip this weekend as well. We're, we're taking um, 30 to 50 kids fishing. Um, so the or organizing in the community is something that's I, I take a lot of pride in. You know, I take a lot of pride in being. Gotta give back. <laughs> yeah, you got. You have to, man. You, you. It's an obligation that should be written, but it's unwritten. Especially artists. We build our whole lifestyles and everything that we've worked up for, spewing what goes on in the neighborhoods. That's awesome. That's really great. And so, just to say goodbye, I brought you some Cal TV lighters. All right. All right. <laughs> And a sticker. They uh, they say it's lit. It's lit. <laughs> literally. Yeah, it's, it's lit. literally. It's literally. Literally man. lit. It's lit baby. For real. <laughs> and here's a sticker. Yeah. Appreciate you. Of course. It's all well, good. can we get a Go Bears on three? Yeah, for sure. All right. One, two, three. Go, Go Bears. Bears. <laughs>